structural multiplane image, bridging neural view synthesis, and 3D reconstruction. The standard multiplane image contains a set of frontoparallel RGB alpha layers for efficient novel view synthesis. However, its fixed plane arrangement limits the performance. Intuitively, we raise a question, is it possible to construct MPIs adaptive to the scenes, considering both depths and orientations? To answer this question, we introduce the structural MPI, where the plane structure approximates 3D scenes concisely. To build a structural MPI from single or sparse view images, view synthesis and planar 3D reconstruction are directly bridged together. Although our motivation is straightforward, there are great challenges in the construction of a structural MPI, including multi-view color and poses estimation and rendering problems, so we propose an SMPI transformer to solve the problems. Finally, we show result examples. More detailed introduction and results will be shown later. Now, we provide a more detailed introduction. As we know, standard multiplane image is designed for efficient novel view synthesis. However, it has several underlying limitations. First, it is sensitive to discretization due to slanted surfaces and scenes. As all layered planes are parallel to the source image plane, slanted surfaces will be distributed to multiple MPI layers causing discretization artifacts in novel views. Increasing the number of layers can improve the representation capability but also increase memory and computation costs. Second, it easily introduces redundancy. It tends to distribute duplicated textures into different layers to mimic the lighting field, which can introduce artifacts with repeated textures. The essential reason causing the above issues is that the MPI construction is dependent on source views but neglects the explicit 3D geometry of the scenes. So, we propose to construct MPIs adaptive to the scenes, considering both plane depths and orientations, called structural MPI. Although our motivation is straightforward, there are great challenges in the construction of an SMPI. First, the network not only needs to predict RGB alpha values, but also the planar approximation of the scene. Second, it is difficult to correspond the plane projections across views since they may cover different regions and present different appearances. Recent plane reconstruction works build matches of planes after they are detected in each view independently, which may increase costs and accumulate errors. Third, non-planar regions are challenging to model even with free planes. Previous plane estimation methods cannot simultaneously handle planar and non-planar regions well. Fourth, in the rendering process, as an SMPI contains planes intersecting with each other, an efficient rendering pipeline needs to be designed so that the rendering advantages of MPI can be inherited. To address these challenges, we propose to build an SMPI with an end-to-end -end transformer-based model for both planar geometry approximation and view synthesis, in which planar and non-planar regions are processed jointly. We follow the idea of formulating plane detection as instance segmentation and build our model upon a segmentation transformer. Our SMPI transformer uniformly takes planar and non-planar regions as two structure classes and predicts their representative attributes, which are for reconstruction, including structure class, plane pose, and plane mask, and for view synthesis, including RGB alpha image. We term each instance with such attributes as a proxy. Note that non-planar layers are inclusively handled as frontoparallel planes with adaptive depth offsets and the total number of the predicted proxy instances is adaptive to the scene. Our model can manipulate both single-view and multi-view input. It aims to generate a set of proxy embeddings in the full extent of the scene, covering all planar and non-planar regions aligned in a global coordinate frame. By plane pose transformation, we can transform the estimated global plane pose into each input view. In this way, the predicted proxy instances are directly aligned, which avoids the sophisticated matching in two-stage methods. Finally, the global proxy embeddings are effectively learned with the ensembled supervision from all local view projections. Different from standard MPI with frontoparallel image planes, SMPI contains a set of adaptively posed planes. Each plane is represented by its normal N and offset D to the optical center O. A simple back-to-front rendering order can be applied for all pixels in a standard MPI, but it is difficult to render with intersecting planes. For each plane in SMPI, we can calculate a depth map for each plane with their plane poses. By using depth values as index, we can determine a rendering order for each pixel. 
For the noted pixel on the right, the rendering order is given by 1, 2, and 3, which follows the depth descending order D1, D3, and D2. Then we will show our experiments. Our experiments are conducted in both single view and multi view settings. First, we show the planar 3D reconstruction results, including depth map accuracy and plane instance detection accuracy on NYUV2 dataset and ScanNet dataset. The results show that our method is more accurate compared to previous planar 3D reconstruction methods. For the task of novel view synthesis, we also conduct experiments in single and multi view settings. Compared to previous MPI-based methods, our method is more accurate. Compared to NERF-based methods, our method shows clear speed advantages without the need of training per scene. Then we will show some visualization results. First, about novel view synthesis with single view input. Compared to the previous method based on standard MPI, our method achieves more accurate results. In synthesized depth maps, our prediction is sharper, especially in the planar areas. In RGB predictions, our results are more accurate geometrically because of our better reconstruction. In this case, the standard MPI method shows blurry RGB predictions in extreme poses. Because it distributes repeated contents of one slanted plane onto multiple paralleled MPI layers. In contrast, our model produces plane layers with scene adaptive poses, generating sharp results. Next, about novel view synthesis with multi-view input. Given two input images, our model can deliver view synthesis results in a larger range of view. We can see that both the synthesized RGB and depth map results are seamlessly merged with the two inputs because of our multi-view consistent predictions. This example also demonstrates our advantages in view synthesis because of our accurate and consistent reconstruction. Then we will show our planar reconstruction results. Given two sparse input views, our model can generate planar reconstructions in the full extent of the scene. Benefiting from our global plane instance embedding strategy, corresponding planes in different views are naturally aligned geometrically. Compared to the plane TR, which is also trained on the ScanNet dataset, our model shows advantages in reconstruction consistency. Also, our segmentation results are sharper and more accurate. More detailed results can be found in our paper. Thanks for watching.